April 20th. Life abundant, grace abounding. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace, and of the gift of righteousness, shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Romans 5:17. Notice that word receive. We first receive forgiveness, or reconciliation, then abundance of grace, Romans 5:11 to 17. We cannot merit or earn either one or the other, all that we have to do is to take what God offers, by an act of the will which accepts and appropriates. If men are lost, it is because they refuse to receive the grace and love of God, secured to us, in spite of our failure and sin, through the second Adam. We must believe that we have received, even when we are not conscious of any new experience, John 1:12. It is a blessed thing, when our emotional life is at a low ebb, and we feel out of sorts, to receive, to and breathe, to drink in the abundance of grace, and to know that He is working in us in power. There is no limit to the abundance of God's supply it abounds. The Apostle keeps using that word, which really means running over, Romans 5.15, Romans 5.17, Romans 5.20. And the result of receiving more and more out of God's fullness, is that we reign, not in the future life, but in this. Ours becomes a royal, a regnant, a triumphant life. This glorious life in which we are daily victorious over sin, daily using and scattering the unsearchable riches of Christ, daily helping others up to the throne life, is within the reach of every reader of these words. God wants you to enter upon it, He has made every provision for it, and is at this moment urging you to enter upon it. The only thing for you to do is to receive the abundance of His grace and of the gift of righteousness. Open your heart and life and He will fill it dare to believe that he has filled it, even though you don't feel it, and go forth to live a royal life, distributing the largest of his royal bounty. But we must pour out as God pours in. Only so will he be able to trust us with his fullness. Our love to others, our willingness to help them, our forgivingness and patience must go to the point of self-exhaustion, if we would know the abundant life and the grace that flows over. Prayer for souls redeemed, for sins forgiven, for means of grace, and hopes of heaven, Father, what can to thee be given, who givest all? Amen.